Boca Raton, Florida is home to a large and vibrant Jewish community. And here today, many residents are welcoming the opening of an entirely kosher Winn-Dixie supermarket. Winn-Dixie is a national chain with stores in many states. And to celebrate this event, there'll be several special guests attending and a gift will be presented to the local Jewish community center. Later in the program, we will speak with executives from Winn-Dixie and the Jewish Federation of South Palm Beach County following these messages. Thanks to fuel perks from Winn-Dixie, grocery shopping just went from boring to... Bonus! Because with bonus items, your fuel perks will save you even more on gas. Each item is worth from 5 to 50 cents off every gallon. Bonus! And with hundreds of new bonus items all over the store, your gas savings will add up faster and easier than ever. Bonus! Come into Winn-Dixie or go online to find out more. Bonus! There's a box known around the world, and now what's inside this box is changing for the better. New Best Ever Special K is bursting with more goodness. Three delicious grains blended together for a beautiful balance of whole grain and fiber in every bowl. So now when you see Special K, you'll know good on the inside means great on the outside. A change for the better. What will you gain? With us now is Larry Stablin, Vice President of Winn-Dixie. It's a real pleasure to have you with us today, sir. Thank you, Richard. Nice to be here today. Thanks for coming and visiting our store here in Boca Raton. We just had the pleasure of speaking with some of your executives, and uh, it's been really fun touring your store. From your perspective, since you are a national chain, how do you see the challenges in the food retailing business in general these days? You know, we really look at it. We just start from the customer and work backwards. So really our challenges are serving the customers and providing what they want uh, in the stores, in their neighborhoods. And you know, for us, that's what juices us up, that's what excites our team, and that's what we, uh, what we try to do. This is an absolutely beautiful store right here in Boca Raton, but I'd like you to tell our audience of the number of stores Winn-Dixie has nationwide. We have about 700 stores. We're in the southeast primarily, the eight southeast uh, states in uh, uh, the United States, and we have about 700 stores. We serve uh, broad, diverse neighborhoods, uh, and we try to attack it one store at a time and give customer great experience in each one of those stores. What would you say are the challenges in your industry in general? Uh, for us, it's uh, understanding customer needs uh, and serving them better than our competition does. We want to give our customers a great shopping experience. Uh, we want to give them great fresh foods because they're looking for great fresh foods. And we want to bring real deals to them. We want to bring real value to, so that they can you know, take care of their family and take care of their family at a great value. That's really our objective. Well, I would say we are blessed to live in this day and age with such quality and variety. I, I'm just thinking of how stores were a hundred years ago and where we are today. How do you see trends in the future? You know, our, our customers are um, really interested in healthy and wholesome food. You know, so we see customers taking more and more personal accountability for their health and for their, their family's health and uh, looking for great, fresh, wholesome foods. And at the same time, great value to take care of their house with. And, uh, and that's really what we see and we really try to connect with that and really bring them those great fresh, uh, fresh foods at a great value. Before we conclude, I'd like to ask you something I'm sure you're not asked during every interview. How did you get into the food industry? Well, Richard, that's, that's an easy one. It's because I love food. You know, as a youngster, I worked in restaurants. Uh, I owned my own to help pay my way through school. So for me, it was just a natural extension to get into the food store business. And uh, once you're in it, it is in your blood. It's what I love to do. When I'm not working in food stores, I'm visiting food stores. And when I'm in another city, I'm visiting food stores. I love food and it's, uh, it's just a pleasure for me to do this. It's funny that you say that because when I travel abroad, I like visiting local supermarkets in different countries to see what bread they eat, what butter, what produce they buy. So that's a very interesting thought. You know, it's a, it's a great 
uh, that you made that notice that because quite frankly, in all cultures, we celebrate life around food. The center of almost all celebrations includes food and that's really part of what we try to do at Winn-Dixie and Bilo is we try to connect with customers. What are the things they need for their family, including the celebrations that they have within their family and cater to that. And this store is really a great example of that. In this particular store, I know you've heard earlier talking to some of our folks about the great kosher experience we provide. But in other neighborhoods, the interest, the needs of our customers are very different. And so we do very different kinds of things in those stores. And that's really what's exciting for us is to just get it right one store at a time, one neighborhood at a time for the customers to shop in our stores. Well, speaking of celebrating life, here we are in this beautiful new Winn-Dixie, kosher Winn-Dixie store. It's been a real pleasure having you with us today, sir. Richard, thanks. And thanks for coming here to celebrate with us as we open this new store for our customers. My Bye. pleasure. We're happy to present this check for $1,000 to the Levy's JCC as we embark in this new partnership. And on behalf of the Levis Jewish Community Center, I want to thank Winn-Dixie, our new community partner, a partner in our entire community, not just with the Levis Jewish Community Center. We're looking for, forward to them prospering and doing wonderful in our community and bringing wholesome, healthy, wonderful, kosher bites for our entire community. And we're glad that they're here. I just want to add that we are uh, community involved and uh, we're glad to hear that the community is uh, really shopping with us. And we're here to serve a community, to serve uh, fresh, kosher, wholesome food. This store was born out of community requests. We listened to the community and we heard what the needs were and what you see before you today was born based on the community. So we're very happy to partner in the community and be a, a strong partner. We're glad that everybody's coming out for this great event and we're, I'm thrilled that after 20 years, over more than 20 years in this community, that we have another great kosher option for all of our consumers. Kosher is usually applied to food. Kosher meaning the pure, perfect, meaning that it fits the kosher dietary law, which is derived directly from the Torah. Kosher applies to every source of food anywhere in the world. So there are a lot of stages. There's the original ingredients where they come from, the source from where they come, the handling of the product. And once we have all those ingredients assembled and they all are kosher, we'll make sure that they can produce the product in a kosher manner. With us now is Cindy Bergman and Deborah Shapiro. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. My pleasure, Real pleasure. as well. Tell us a little bit about the significance of this event. This culminates years and years and years of planning and, and making sure that we have the proper offering that the community has wanted and told us through the years that they want. So it's very significant for us that to be able to get to the point where we can give the offering that we've been planning for so long. Cindy, what are your thoughts with regard to a new kosher supermarket here in Boca Raton, Florida? I think it's wonderful. Truly, I have worked in this Jewish community for over 20 years. And I've worked in the Orthodox community as well as in the more secular with reform, conservative, and yet all of the people that I know are looking for kosher options. And there have not been a lot in our community for many, many years. And this is finally providing some competition, some offerings, some newness, some excitement to the Jewish community here in Boca Raton. The location of this Winn-Dixie is particularly perfect because we are surrounded by the Orthodox community right here, a walking distance to this store specifically. And having walked through the store myself and being toured by Eddie and Mayra, it's great. It looks great, it looks fresh, it looks exciting, and it looks like this is gonna finally be another option for the Jewish community here. 
it was quite interesting to learn more about the intricacies of what, what it means to be kosher. What are your thoughts on that? We take kosher very serious here. We actually have a training program that we do all of our store managers who get stores with a high kosher concentration in it to help them understand and be able to help our kosher guests with their shopping, with their shopping needs. We go through explaining to them the difference between par, dairy, and meat. We explain to them the difference in having kosher equipment and non-kosher equipment. For example, the bread that you see here today is the same bread that every Winn-Dixie carries, but what makes it kosher is the fact that the equipment here has no cross-contamination with any other types of bakery items that are not kosher. So it actually is bringing to the kosher consumer something that wasn't available to them before. It's the same bread that we bake in all of our Winn-Dixies and, and now you, they can get it with a kosher certification. So we've gone through very meticulous in making sure that we, we've partnered with the ORB for our certification and they help us with some of our certification criteria, but we take learning about kosher very seriously so that all of the people who work within our stores that have kosher are able to help the kosher customers. Well, this certainly is a beautiful supermarket and so colorful and full of life. It's wonderful. And speaking of life, I'd like to ask you, what are the challenges facing the Jewish community as a whole, in your opinion, at this time? Well, I think there's, there's so many challenges to the Jewish community, and I really can only speak to my professional experience locally. I'm not, I don't want to go into Israel and everything else, but I think that the Jewish people have really been ones to take care of their own and to be concerned about their own. And that's what we do here in Boca Raton through the Jewish Community Center and the Jewish Federation of South Palm Beach County, all of the synagogues. We keep an eye out for each other. And I think that that's, if every people really took care of themselves, I think the world would be a greater place all in all. Um, and I also want to just reflect back to the, the Kashrut issues um, and how it does impact on the Jewish community because we want to be the most inclusive Jewish community as we possibly can. And if we have our events that stand by Jewish Kashrut laws, then more people can attend. And this way, all the Jews in the community, not just the Orthodox Jews staying with the Orthodox Jews and the Reformed Jews staying with the Reformed Jews, but we can have a much more complete and beautiful community. And as a member of the administration of the Jewish Community Center, that's what we strive for. Because we can be the connector to all of the synagogues, to all the other Jewish communities. And that's what we want to do. We want to be that gateway. And I think that will help the Jewish community, you know, continue and the legacy could be a, good, a great one for us. So well said. Deborah, I'd like to ask you, when dixie has more than one kosher supermarket, and of course supermarkets all over the country, tell us about that. Um, well, when dixie is part of Bilo Holdings, and we actually have grocery stores across the entire southeast, but when dixie as itself has supermarkets all the way from Louisiana, down to Florida, up to Georgia, we're, we're spread throughout. We actually have over 150 kosher stores that we've identified, but not to the extreme as what we have in this store right here. We've actually, we, we, we tier them according to the needs of the community, and we bring basically what each community is asking for. So the store that you see here in Boca Raton is one of our highest tiered stores. It has the most offerings um, available to the kosher guests versus stores in other provinces still have kosher food available to them, just maybe not on this, the same amount. There is one thing that we have done, which I think is a major step for Winn-Dixie, is we have now kosher private label baked goods. We've, um, we have Winn-Dixie brand challah that can be gotten at any Winn-Dixie store by request. We immediately send it to stores that we know where there is a need, but any store, any Winn-Dixie across our entire footprint, you can go up and start to request to get in Winn-Dixie brand challah and it will come in and it's kosher certified. Well, this has been a very delectable and wonderful conversation. Thank you so very much for being My with pleasure. us today. Thank, Thank you, Cindy. so much. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be right back. We're joined now by Aaron Sharman. Aaron, we just had a very nice conversation with one of the heads of the JCC here, Cindy Bergman, and we'd like to ask you a few questions as well as we continue with this program. What foods are specifically of interest in your opinion? Well, um, we've added uh, fresh sushi on site, 
um, actually has a very, very good record. Um, we've also added uh, tons of grocery items. Uh, we expanded on the dairy set and um, we have now fresh uh, pizza on site. And um, we're basically going basically what the community wants us to do and it's looking very, very good. Deborah, what specifically does the community ask for? You get so many requests. What are people asking for? We got over 100 requests specifically for this store with asking a, a range of things. The very first thing they asked for was the bakery. So we actually turned our bakery over a few years prior to the rest of the store getting a kosher deli and any other the kosher amenities. So that was something that we could do quick and easily and answer their needs. Um, actually, where we are right now was one of the community requests. They said, we really want a seating area. It's very important to us to be able to grab a quick sandwich and sit down right then and, and, and have a nice quick place, have a quick lunch. So the seating area right here is something that we made sure that we designed and had in there to design. Pizza was another request that we did. So we, we received over a hundred requests with various different request, different items and we just decided we're going to listen. And there's, there's been times over the years where it's been difficult, where we were doing the plans and, and costs got in, but we decided that the community is more important and we're going to put the community first. You know what I'd like to suggest? Why don't we just take a walk and you show us around a little? What do you think? Sure. So here we are taking a walk in your store. Where are we right now? This is our kosher bakery. Right here in this corner, we have the kosher pizzas available. And as, that, as you can see, they look amazing. Uh, this is a plain one. We also have assorted. The customer has the option either to take, grab and go and cook it in his home, or he can actually ask the chef to prepare for him special and hot, and, and he can either eat it here or take it hot and eat it home. So where are you taking us now? So we're going to be taking you back to the kosher to the kosher sushi and kosher deli department. But we are a one-stop shop, so we even do have a floral department here. So you can get everything you need. If it's Friday night right before Shabbos and you need to make sure you get the flowers and everything you need for your meal, one-stop shop. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. What color. In fact, uh, this is a, a very modern, just recently redone store, I understand. Yes. Yes, this, this store um, we freshly remodeled. Um, we started with remodeling the produce department and we built on and adding into the rest of the store. Um, updated with, with all of the, the latest equipment um, so we can bring the freshest possible food to our customers. It's interesting how visiting a supermarket is always such a positive and cheerful event. What are your thoughts on that? I think as a customer, a customer really will benefit here a lot. Um, also, especially shopping with kids. It is a real pleasure because um, as you're shopping with the kids, you can actually stop by, give them a pizza, give them a little sushi, get which we're about cookie. to see, give them a cookie. <laughs> Tons of sampling here, so no problem. Anyone wants to come and try something, by all means. And uh, here is the main kosher section. This is the hub, right here. This is the hub, okay. And we see kosher sushi. Tell us about it. Well, sushi in general has become very popular over the years. Um, as food trends go, kosher tends to follow food trends. So when sushi in general was gaining in popularity, it was gaining popularity in the kosher world. So we do kosher versions of sushi for those who keep kosher, but even those who don't keep kosher can still buy the same sushi because it's still quality sushi. It's a great selection. I love sushi personally. <laughs> Tell us what's special about this part of the store. Well, um, right over here we have um, filleted fish, uh, we have the kosher meat right there, and um, we have uh, almost, as you can see, it's probably about 30 foot uh, long just of kosher meat and kosher deli. We have deli. an in-house meat cutting room. We cut fresh in-store daily kosher meat. I see we already have Hanukkah decorations here and items. Tell us about this. Yes, uh, so we have, uh, as you can see, um, menorahs. We have the regular um, electric ones. We have over here um, with the oils. We have a lot of dreidels and candles and everything is very uh, inclusive, nice uh, promotions and everyone's invited. We have uh, Hanukkah's early this year, so we made sure that we got the product in early so that everybody can go shopping early for their Hanukkah needs. Hanukkah actually falls on Thanksgiving this year, so we've been calling it Thanksgivinga. 
<laughs> That's funny. Let's see more. <laughs> Here we see a whole lot of meat and poultry products. Well, when Dixie, we're known as the beef people. We take meat very seriously here. So for the first time, our customers can experience when Dixie but butchering skills on kosher meat. We cut all meat here fresh every day. In the back, we have a kosher meat cutting room that is kept locked and just used when there's kosher supervision in sight and house and all the meat is trimmed according to Winn-Dixie specifications. And we take meat just as seriously as we take kosher. <laughs> I'm going to say something politically incorrect and say it so happens, I'm vegetarian, but this is really great. But, <laughs> but you know what? Show us more. Okay. What a selection of wine you have here. We have uh, right here, as you can see, um, we have about 20 foot of kosher wines. Um, Anywhere between Herzog, Bartonura, Rashi, Terra Vegas, and tons of more brands. Well, one of my favorite areas happens to be dairy products, yogurts, and so forth, cocoa. Talk to us about it. Well, we have here 20 foot of actually um, Chalav Yisrael items, tons of milk, uh, yogurts, and you name it, it's all here. Even cheeses from Israel we have here, all different types. Richard, I want to show you now our kosher deli. This is our pride and joy, what we've worked so hard on. We have room for anything from fried chicken to salads, whatever your heart contends is here in our deli. We work very hard to make sure that the offering is what the community wanted. And I look forward to sampling as much of it as possible. We'll have plenty for you to sample, no worries. This is the hot case where it's uh, especially for dinner. Over here you have the rotisserie fried chicken. Right over here you have parved salads and uh, fish. You got over there deli and uh, brisket and all the way then there's again the sushi. Deb, I understand that you have a mashgiach on site. We have a mashgiach on site every single time the deli is open. When there is not a mashgiach on site, there's actually a gate that comes down that closes it to keep it away from cross-contamination of other parts of the store that might not be kosher. And with the mashgiach on site, it enables us to do things that some other stores might not be able to do. Like, you can come and have a sandwich made right here for you, prepared fresh, in our sub shop, when, because we have a mashgiach on site. Well, I have to say, the visit to your store has been really very exciting and great fun. I want to thank you very, very much for being with us today. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Enjoy your food. Shortly. You know it's a mitzvah to eat meat on Shabbos, right? Wine and meat on Shabbos equals happiness. Are you never happy? Isn't there a mitzvah to be happy on holidays? Water challah? That's not real challah. Wait, wait. Shabbos dinner without the brisket? Did your rabbi say you can do that? If you taste my Bubby's brisket, you'll change your mind. You don't eat meat? So do you not have a butcher you go to? Well, do you eat chicken? So who's your vegan butcher? Wait, do you eat fish? Is that milk or fleischen? Tell me you eat eggs, you have to eat eggs. Do vegetables need a heksher? How am I gonna feed you for Shabbos? Oh, I get it. So everything's par of. Is kosher chicken vegan? If you married a meat eater, would you at least make him brisket for Shabbos? What do you do about a shank bone? What do you do on Passover? You must starve. A Passover table without a shank bone is an abomination. Not eating apples with honey on Rosh Hashanah is like not having sex on Shabbos. It just feels wrong. Oh, trying to save time with only one set of dishes. I got it. No leather shoes? That's like Yom Kippur every day, but without the fasting. If you don't eat shawarma or schnitzel, what do you eat in Israel? How do you call yourself a Jew? A new kosher vegan restaurant? Do they serve main dishes or is it just side dishes? Ugh. When Mashiach comes, you know we're all going to be sacrificing animals again, right? I've studied the laws of Kashrus. There is nothing in here about that. You must be hungry all the time. What about Noah's Ark? He ate those animals, right? No chicken soup? How do you treat the common cold? Didn't Moses eat meat? Chazal ate meat. Try the chalan. I won't tell. Come on. Doesn't this look good? <laughs> Doesn't this look good? This concludes our special program for today from On Location in Boca Raton, Florida. I'm Richard Peretz. Thank you for being with us. Mm -hmm.